Hey guys, it's Steph with Crafty Ladybug, and today we're going to be decorating this simple black mug that I found at my local dollar store using Sharpie oil-based paints. You can tell that they are oil-based by the pink band that's on the end and also that their barrels are white. You want to be sure to use the oil base, not the regular Sharpies, and please stay tuned for the baking instructions at the end of this video. A few other items that we're going to need is alcohol, basic rubbing alcohol, and some cotton balls, and a simple little piece of cardboard or scrap paper. Now the design that I've come up with for today is going to look something similar to this. I decorated also a basic black bowl using the design that we're doing today. So I'm going to be doing a dandelion and the word wish, and we're going to be doing that on our mug today. The first thing I want you guys to do is to take your Sharpie pens. I use two. I have a fine point and an ultra fine point. So I'm going to be using both of these today in the project. I want you to shake your pen really good. And we're going to be dobbing them on our little extra piece of paper here just to make sure that we get our um, paint to come out. You want to do that on both of those pens on this little piece of scrap or cardboard that you have here. Another very important step that we're going to do is to take our rubbing alcohol, and I've already cleaned this cup so I'm not going to do it on camera, but dab a little bit of rubbing alcohol on your cotton swab, and you want to be sure to clean your mug thoroughly where we're going to be placing the design. And then you're going to have to wait a moment or two for that to dry. Our next step is going to be to determine where we want our design to be. And I'm going to do it right here on the front. I'm going to do the dandelion kind of coming up towards the handle. And I'm going to put the word wish under it. So let's get this party started. First thing I want you to do is to take your fine point Sharpie Old Base marker. And we're just simply going to be drawing a line from where we think we want the dandelion center to be all the way down to the edge of your mug. Then we're just going to go over that line again, making it slightly larger as you come down. And you want to fill in because most of our flower stems are slightly larger at the bottom than they are at the top. And the very top center we're going to do a larger dot. Then I'm going to switch and use our ultra fine or extra fine Sharpie pen. And I'm just going to be doing little teeny lines off of the center of the dandelion. Mine aren't straight, but you just kind of want to spread them out around the mug. make them a little longer if you want. Do a couple short ones in there. And then what I've done is I've switched back to the larger one and I'm just going to put a dab, a circle dab, just a little dot on the end of each of those points. And that's going to kind of finish off that line to my dandelion. And I'm just dotting around and then I'm going to write the word wish right down here at the bottom. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I do like the word wish though and my handwriting is not super terrible but I don't actually like it a whole lot either. But just do your best. And write out the word wish and I'm just going to put three little dots after the word wish. And then I want to do a few small little pieces of dandelion kind of like flying off and I switched back to my ultra fine Sharpie marker and I'm just going to do a single little stem. need to get some more paint back in the tip of that. that. So I'm going to do a small stem 
with three little pieces coming off of it. And I'm just going to do another smaller stem with three little pieces coming off. And then up here by the mug handle, I'm going to do an even smaller one with three little pieces coming off. I'm going to bump back to my fine point Sharpie and do a dot on each one of these. dot on each one of those and there our wish mug is complete now our next thing that we have to do is we have to bake this you want to put this in your oven cold you want your oven to be turned off put your products in the oven or your projects in the oven in a cold oven turn your oven on 350 and then you want them to bake for 30 minutes. Then turn your oven off and let them stay in the oven until the oven cools off. So that's going to be a longer process for you. But in your end, in the end, everything should be baked on there and it will be a hand washed only project. But isn't that mug going to be adorable? And I'm also doing a plate and of course I've got the bowl that I had done previously. So I'm going to have quite a cute little collection of dandelion and you can do any design that you wish. So I hope you guys like that and enjoy that cute little quick project.